Hello everyone, uh, my name is Ajay. So in this video, I'm going to explain you about asynchronous programming using async and await keywords in C Sharp. So before starting uh, this video, I wanted to say you the difference between synchronous programming and asynchronous programming. So if you see, uh, so first I want to explain you about asynchronous programming. So that uh, we'll know what actually the drawback is between the, the synchronous programming. And then after I'll explain you how you can avoid the drawback using asynchronous programming. So now I will use this example and I will explain you how this runs uh, in synchronous programming. So if you take this example here, if you can see I'm having three functions, download file one, download file two and download file three. So each of these function takes five seconds for downloading the files. So if you take, uh, if you call all these three, functions in asynchronous programming so first it will start executing this function which is download file one and it takes five seconds for executing and then after file one is uh, execution of download file one function is done then it comes to the uh, second function which is download file two and it takes another five seconds and once the download file two execution is done it comes to download file three uh, function and it takes another five seconds so here if you can see each and every function is taking five seconds and uh, it in total total it will be 15 seconds why because uh, you download file 2 only after file 1 is downloaded and you download file 3 only after file 2 and file 1 are downloaded so each function is taking five seconds so before downloading file two it will actually wait five seconds for uh, downloading file one and before downloading file three it will actually wait for file two and file three which takes five seconds and five seconds that is ten seconds so by the end of all these three files downloading of all these three files it will actually take 15 seconds why because it will download one file after other file so if you take the same thing in asynchronous programming the total time would be five seconds if asynchronous if, if asynchronous uh, I will explain you how like so basically asynchronous programming is parallel execution so if you if you you if you call these three functions in asynchronous programming then these three functions will execute parallelly so these three functions will start executing parallelly. It doesn't wait like uh, for, five, uh, for first function or second function. I mean, all the three functions will be executing parallelly if it is asynchronous programming. So if I call these three programming, three files in three functions in asynchronous programming, then the total time taken will be five seconds. Why? Because all these three functions will be called parallelly so which will execute in five seconds so i will explain you how exactly that works by coding so for that i will write three functions inside here all the thing i mean that's static void download file one So here I'll write a message for downloading file one. Let's suppose it's takes like five seconds. So for that I'm just using thread dot sleep. So five thousand milliseconds, which is equal to five seconds. Okay, I will do. I will add functions for file two and file three. Okay, so. Oh, here if you can see i'm having three functions download file one file two file three 
so which where you can see each function is taking five seconds for completing its execution so let me write another function called static void start process so where i'll be calling all these three functions in the start process so don't go five one so i will call this start process in the main function so here if you can see i'm calling all these three functions in start process so this is asynchronous programming so i'm not using any uh, th uh, this is synchronous programming so i'm not using any async or await keywords for making it asynchronous so this is a straightforward synchronous programming so let's see how it actually runs so before that uh, i want to use a stopwatch for this to just know the total time uh, taken for executing this start process method so for that i will use this start watch stopwatch so i will use the stopwatch for getting the total time uh, that is taken by the start process method so for that i will use the stopwatch uh, class and call this start new method and i will store this in a local variable called watch okay and so after executing this start process after calling the start process method i will uh, stop the stopwatch and i will display the total time is equal to watch milliseconds so this will give me the total time after stopping the stopwatch so this is nothing but i'm using the stopwatch so just to get the time taken by the start process method so if you see in the start process i'm calling start process i'm calling these three functions so where each function takes five seconds so if you can see the total time should be around five, 15 seconds so let me run and let me uh, see how exactly goes So first it is downloading file 1, so it is taking 5 seconds and now it's downloading file 2, so it is taking another 5 seconds and now it's taking uh, downloading file 3, it's taking another 5 seconds. So if you can see after all 3 files are downloaded, the approximate time is around 15 seconds, see the total time is around 15 seconds. So this is about synchronous programming, so in synchronous programming, uh, you, each and every file each and every function will wait for uh, it the function execution goes line by line so for that reason uh, it takes 15 seconds as each and every file needs 5 seconds so it will wait for each and every file to be downloaded so for the for that reason it takes 15 seconds by the end of all three files download by the end of uh, execution of all these three functions so let's see how we can actually make this work asynchronously so with where we can reduce this 15 seconds to 5 seconds uh, where we will be downloading all three files so let's see how we can make this asynchronous so for making this asynchronous you can use async and await keywords i will explain you so for for you to uh, for you to call any function asynchronously you can you can use this uh, Predefined class called task dot run. So in this task dot run, you have to actually use the lambda expressions. Lambda expression, which, uh, which you I mean these are also called as delegates. So using this lambda expressions, you have to call the actual method in this task dot run. Okay so i will do the same thing for all these three methods so 
So if you use stars dot run, now if you can see, so if you use this stars dot run, and if you call any method in this stars dot run, uh, then it will, it will, it will. I mean, in this scenario, as I'm using stars dot run, all these three methods will be running parallelly. Okay, so for this to make uh, synchronous. So before that, what you know, uh, let me run and show you how exactly it works. So if I run, see here if you can see, the three functions are called parallelly, downloading file to file three, file one, are called parallelly, and also uh, the console dot write line total time is also called parallelly. So that is the reason, you know, for each uh, this function for each of this download file 1, download file 2 and download file 3 is taking 5 seconds. So the execution is happening parallelly. So that's the reason it comes to console.writeline directly and it's displaying the time as 8. Without actually executing all these three functions, it is directly showing the total time equal to 8. Why? Because we are executing this parallelly. So to avoid this, we can use async and await keyword. Let me show you how you can use async. So if you can use async. So whenever you are using async and if the return type is void, you can simply use task. And if for suppose if the return type is string, then you can use task of string like this. Okay. So if it is void, if it is void, just use task. And so here I also want to write a message. that all files are downloaded okay so here i want to display this message only after running all these three methods so let me let me run this and let me let me show you how it's working exactly so here if you can see all these three all these three methods and this line is running parallelly. That's the reason I'm getting all these lines like this. So if you can see in the output, all files are downloaded message should actually come after downloading all these three files. So that should be anywhere after this. And the total time should have the exact time, which is around uh, five seconds. It's not, 11 milliseconds is very less so it's that means it's not waiting for all the files to download so it's invalid so that means uh, here if you can see because of this everything is running parallelly but i have to make sure that uh, after so these three are running parallelly so i have to make sure to display this piece of line after execution of all these three lines so for that, I can use await keyword and use task dot when all. So for that, I will store each and every one, every task in var t1, var t2, var t3. Okay. So now I'll pass all the tasks in this when all p and method. Okay. So here if you can see I stored all these three tasks in T1, T2, and T3. And now I'm using await keyword and uh, so this is nothing but here the application will be passed till all these three tasks are executed. So once these three tasks were executed then it runs it comes to this line so for that reason we use await so in this in uh, synchronous programming we use await keyword uh, just to pass in between somewhere uh, when the tasks are running parallelly okay so if i so as i used await keyword here now if you can see 
uh, now the, my, my program will be running one after the and also if any program is async so that means here if you can see start process is asynchronous method here so that means uh, I have to also await this start process call here why because if I won't await here then this will run parallelly that means let me run and let me show you okay so it's like download file 2 download file 1 and total time 10 download file 3 that means it's not uh, correct so the total time must be after downloading all the files so this issue is happening only because I didn't use I wait keyword here it's start process why because as you as you can see I made the start process as the asynchronous method so for so as it is asynchronous method so all these lines of code are executing parallelly so for that reason I got this output so let's make this await and let's see how exactly it works so for making this await you must make sure that the function is having a sync keyword and always make void to task okay so if you are using a sync keyword then use the return type as task and if you want to use if you want to use a wait keyword in the function then definitely there must be a sync keyword uh, in the function prototype okay so i made this function async as well for using this await keyword so here if you can see first uh, i will uh, get the variable watch uh, i will declare i'm declaring the variable watch then after it executes start process and it because of this await keyword it will wait for this complete process to be executed okay and then after it comes to this line where i will stop the watch and i will then display the total time so this is the correct way of executing uh, the start process using asynchronous programming. So let's run and check the output. So you can see all the files, so all the function calls are done parallelly, and then so all the so if you can see these three files, the three functions are called parallelly: downloader file two, file one, file three, and then after I'm awaiting here so it waits till all these three files uh, execution execution it here I mean here at await task when all here if you can see at this line it will be waiting for all these three tasks to be completed so once these three tasks are completed then I will return this message all files are downloaded so once this message is uh, written then I will come out of the function call and I will be stopping the watch and I'm returning the message as the total time so which is nothing but 5 seconds so if you can see in the asynchronous programming it is actually taking around 15 seconds but if I made when I made this asynchronous it is only 5 seconds so that is the main advantage of asynchronous programming over synchronous programming so in synchronous programming each and every file is uh, waiting for the other file to download so the line of if the functions are called line by line so for that reason uh, it is taking more time whereas in asynchronous programming all the functions are called parallelly that is the reason it is taking only 5 seconds instead of 15 seconds so that is about asynchronous programming friends I tried making it as simple as possible I know it is a little complex but if you work out if you uh, try this in different ways you will definitely understand it easily uh, thanks a lot for watching my video if you have any questions please post them in the comment section of this video uh, and also I will post the link of this code in the description of this video so you can get the code as well uh, thanks a lot for watching my video thank you